I just finished cleaning up the production for one of my songs. That's always great because that means that all that's left to do is give it over to the mixing engineer. And that's another song done. Two days ago, I filmed a vlog just talking about how frustrated I've been that I have been taking such a long time with this album and I wasn't feeling motivated to work on it. I was asking like, does my music even matter? Like, what's the bigger picture? And I was just completely stuck. But interestingly, while I was processing that, I don't know what it was, but the following day, which was yesterday, I spent like a good six, seven hours working on a couple of my songs. So I thought I should give an update that I'm doing a lot better. And yeah, today I'm gonna go out and gonna take a break from recording. So let's go and let me tell you about what I learned. And day to be out today traffic anyways there were a couple insights that really pushed me to just try and pursue creating again the other night i was curious to hear about this record producer author rick rubin i think he released a new book in recent months called the creative act there were just so much content of him sharing his nuggets of wisdom and i got to watch a couple there was this particular example that he was talking about called the ruthless edit and basically if he's working with an artist that aims to do like a 10 track album what they would do is like go way over that like even 24 tracks and then they're gonna choose like the five most essential ones that they just can't live without and then they're gonna add the next few that will make the project better. I like the idea of really just trying to protect the integrity of the entire project and its objectives. I think if you spend so much time on it, you just feel really attached to it like it's your baby, but then you start to forget like the bigger picture. And personally, I think that's extra hard when you're doing it on your own because you don't have outside perspectives on the project. Because I got so used to how I've produced them and how I've written them, my head is like way out of the experimental stage. Then when I started asking, hmm, Ruthless edit. What if I tried that on my album from 13 tracks? What if I just cut that down to 10? And this was an interesting thought too because when I was talking to my friend, she was suggesting, why don't you just release like 9 or 10 first? I was like, thanks for the thanks for the suggestion. But then when I heard this the second time, that might actually be a good idea. closer to the city now but I'm still a ways away you know as I was applying that ruthless edit principle God actually used that opportunity to search my heart and show me there was something wrong <laughs> I just end up making these mindless decisions and just letting my ego take the lead one of them full transparency just being completely honest was the number of tracks on my album I had been set on doing 13 tracks but then when i was thinking about it if i'm honest i just wanted to have more tracks than the usual modern day artist but does that make me better not really that really humbled me a lot i actually am more excited to work on the album because it makes a lot more sense but also secondly because i get to work on lesser songs now <laughs> so the other thing that i learned from rick rubin our works are really just snapshots in time and it just makes so much sense. As creatives, we shouldn't give any one project the weight of responsibility of justifying our entire existence. <laughs> like, it's really just gonna be representative of that particular season in our life. So that means I don't really have to keep tweaking it forever or worrying about not having the kind of skills that I think I need in order to achieve an ideal output. And a lot of times, excellent art doesn't really require perfection, but really just honesty, truth. Okay, this is my current songwriting skill, my current production skill. Being honest, even just the way that you work, that is what's going to make your work excellent. So I think that was the main reason why I got to sit down yesterday. That just sparked a bunch of creativity and the rest was history. Fear
conclusion, knowing that there is significance to the work that I do, yes, that does help me to keep going. I guess it's more of a big picture thing, but I do want to make that distinction that the significance of our work is not in that it is powerful in itself, but rather the power is in God who uses our imperfect works. <laughs> My camera really just said that's enough. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying was basically knowing that there was significance in my work actually helped me not to give up on the project, like in the big picture. But in terms of doing like the next small action, what I really needed was just to take off the pressure that this is incredibly important and like everything relied on me and just take one small step at a time. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be true. Anyway, I hope that makes sense and I hope that these insights could help you in some way. The album is going really well these days, I'm glad to say, and I'm really excited to share these snapshots of my life with you guys. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks you guys, and don't forget to use what you have, and I'll see you next time.